Hello everyone, today we're going to give you a tour of our 1995 Peterbilt SNS tanker. 3500 gallon tanker. Built by SNS. I believe they're not in uh, production anymore. Great truck, I'll pull it out for you guys and give you a tour. I have an Eaton Fuller manual transmission. View of the outside with the lights going since it is a fire truck, so we'll shut it down and we'll do a walk around. First, we can say it's a standard Peter belt, there's all your gauges. That's to engage your pump, it does have a uh, 1500 gallon per minute pump. Your transmission, radio, siren. Of course, your stereo with the tape deck. So, all right. All right, like I said before, it's a Waters 1500 gallon per minute pump. And we don't pump that much with this truck, but it is here if we would need it. Yeah, see, it's more of a tanker, it shuttles water. And if you are pumping into on a truck, basically you're giving it off at idle, which is like 50 gallons per minute. You really don't want to send that much in. Uh, on the top, we do have uh, three cross lights, about 150 feet apiece. The ground ladder is up there. Paying about to get to since it is so high. Uh, fortunately, we don't have to use it that much. And uh, two hard sleeves. In this compartment, we have our hand lights and tools and all the adapters we would use on this truck. Spanner wrench is hydro wrench. This right here, that's our slide dump for water coming out of the tank. SCBA. Okay, right there. More SCBA that's hiding behind here. This just keeps this stuff protected. Like I said, those SCBA are really not used that much. Again, it's just on there just for backup. Another hydrogen wrench. Short hook. Some three inch line, a little short line to fill off the hydrant.
In our back, here's your two fill valves, the one on the left and right, the back bigger outlet, that's your rear dump. And then there, that's your rear dump attachment. If you need to extend your rear dump, you would hook that up. This compartment, two extinguishers, and salvage cover. Again, this truck is packed pretty light. But remember, it is only a tanker. And it's going to be shallow on water. I'll show you up on top. That's where our port of tank goes down, know what that's used for. If we get on the scene of a big fire, uh, this whole unit would fold down. A couple of guys would take it off. We set it up, and that's where we dump the water. And then a supply engine would pull up next to that, and put in his low-level strainer, and that's where they would get their water. And all the tankers coming in would keep on dumping water into that port of tank, port of pond, whatever you guys call it. It depends on region. There's no. There's a water can with water drink drinking water next to it. Road flares. Some miscellaneous rope, first aid bag, and another rope bag. It's getting out that much equipment. Just enough. That's all the job the truck needs to do. On your right that Small solar frame, that's a low level strainer to use inside the uh, port of pond up above. And that's a float dog we'd use for uh, drafting out of ponds, creeks, and stuff like that. There are bolt cutters, rope, some triangles, and an axe. Oh, yeah, and some uh, more spanner wrenches and wrenches for the five inch. Two discharges, an intake, the truck it could draft if it had to. I don't ever remember drafting with it. But like I said it could. And there's a view of the passenger side. What a nice Peterbilt. It's gotta be my favorite truck in the fleet. So. Alright everyone, thanks for checking out my video. I do have many more trucks to put on here, I'll be putting on in time. So uh, keep stopping back to check out, I should have new ones here every couple days or so. Uh, thanks for stopping by, see ya.